Hi, this is Peter Hanabi with Japanese Customer News, 17th of October 2015. Hi, I've got six stories this week for you. Our first story is about dairy. And this was reported by Damien Kitney in the Australian on the 14th of October. The Lion Group in Australia, which is owned by the Japanese food and beverage giant Kirin, has a significant presence in the Asian dairy sector with more than 20% of the Hong Kong premium dairy segment and 19% of the premium segment in Malaysia. Now the dairy segment in Australia is, is quite important to um, Japan in terms of quality and in terms of meeting demand. A second story this week is about investment and this was reported by Samantha Hutchinson in The Australian on the 13th of October. Asia investment into Australia in the last 24 months has seen Japan investing 241 million US dollars and that's between quarter 3 2013 and quarter 2 2015. Our third story this week is about emerging markets and this was reported by Anjani Trivedi in the Wall Street Journal on the 16th of October. Now shares of exports to emerging markets 2014 shows that Japan has 45% of, of its exports to emerging markets. Other countries the US has 46% and the Eurozone has 24%. Our fourth story this week is about fuel cells and what I mean by that is um, fuel technology for cars and this was reported in the Wall Street Journal on Friday the 16th of October. Now to Toyota has focused on hybrids recently and Toyota's Mirai fuel car is reported to run 500 kilometers with a fuel tank of hydrogen based on US testing. Its closest rival is Nissan's Leaf electric car and it has an average range of 135 kilometers with a full charge battery. And this is uh, really a story about uh, Toyota said that by um, sometime in the future that it's going to move away from gasoline powered cars. Our fourth story this week is about mergers <coughs> and it was reported in the Financial Times on Friday the 16th of October by Leah Lewis that um, the Japan Post IPO um, the pricing at the top end of the range would raise roughly 1.4 trillion yen making the flotation the biggest in the world this year. Um, Japan Post is uh, aiming to sell um, core parts of its business in a float at the moment and these have been um, highly subscribed by domestic buyers. Our final story this week is about newspapers. Now an interesting statistic by Tony Boyd in the Australian Financial Review on Friday the 16th of October is that the Nikkei newspaper um, its flagship financial newspaper has more than 3 million print and digital subscribers and um, this was a story about um, how the Nikkei has bought the Financial Times and what an important investment uh, that is. Well, thanks very much for your company. Look forward next week at Japanese Customer News.